Lord, we thank you and we love you and we give you praise. Have your way in this place and have your way in this space. And we all will be careful to give you the praise. In Jesus' name, everybody screamed amen. Tell somebody I feel better. Jesus. feel better tonight? Yes, I didn't mean to hold y'all long. Thank you, Lord. The last Monday. The last Monday. Hallelujah. Woo, woo, woo. Woo. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mama said the last Monday. Hallelujah. And I guess Mama is saying, and I feel her heart tonight. I guess Mama is saying, when she say the last Monday, when you've lived to be 86, not even thinking that you would be that old. Every day matters. And we as young, we have been taking life for granted. We think because we are young that we're promised to get old. But no man knows the day nor the hour. When death makes his visit. And I guess that's why every day should be a day of thanksgiving. You know, to get folk to talk to you today, you gotta talk about cars and houses and land and material. But for those that know that life comes only from God, Every day he allows you to live, your lips and your mouth ought to be filled with gratitude. I want to give you just one chance tonight. Just open your mouth and just think about where you could have been. Think about where you should have been and then think about where you are right now and open your mouth and tell him thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. It feels like Sunday down up in here, y'all. It feels like Sunday. Hallelujah. But mama, we still here. Hallelujah. Wow. 
Wow. Well, as the world turns, as the world turns, and one of these days we'll be in that number. But while you got breath in your body, everything that's breathing should be giving pray God praise, not just with your lips, but we should be giving God praise with our very life. Hallelujah. time then got away from us. Lord, have mercy. Let's get this underway. Y'all pray for me tonight. I've not preached this much in a long, long time. This is lesson number seven for me. I guess I'll call this week a week of preaching. I've preached for the last seven days straight. Maybe tomorrow I'll get a chance to shut up. <laughs> Do it while you can. Do it while you can. Hallelujah. Do it while you can. Hallelujah. I must work the works of him that sent me. While it's day, yes. the night coming Ooh, yes, yes. when no man yes. can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Hallelujah. Let's get to this tonight. Mama, I know, I don't know if you can come down as quick because Mama is happy. Mama is extremely full over here. <laughs> Mama say you've been good to me. <laughs> and when calling me down my loop path, you were there. I could have been there. Ooh. Hallelujah. Ooh. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Somebody used to sing a song. I don't know which one of those. I don't know if it was the Southern Airs or the Williams Brothers. But somebody used to sing, if I don't wake up in the morning, it's all right. That's right. That's why you got to live every day. Hallelujah. I'm trying to get the best out of life. So when it's my time, y'all can put on my headstone, he lived. And didn't apologize for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's get to this tonight. We have been talking about Salvation. Somebody shout salvation. salvation. Now I want to know, is this conversation worthy? Do y'all do y'all feel like this is conversation worthy? Yes. I know, I know uh, salvation is such a basic subject. Yes. Such a basic subject. Yes. But for after all, this is another look, so That's right. we we have to take another look even at the basics. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Sometimes we can think we know a thing because we've heard about it all of our lives. Yes, um, so I pray that this is not boring to you. We're talking about salvation. Um, 
And one of the things that we learn about salvation, and, and I want y'all to hear this, and I want y'all to know this, that salvation is not for later. Salvation is for now. Now, I want, the, I want the Christian church to really hear this. Because in the world of Christendom, they have taught us that salvation is for the other side. But that is not why God saves people. <laughs> Hallelujah. God saves people for now. God saves people for now. W will you in cyber so somebody can see what I'm saying? Can you put it in the thread so... Somebody can see what I'm saying. Salvation is not for later. Salvation is for now. Hallelujah. And salvation is for the lost. Somebody holler lost. I want you to know you can think you know God and be lost. Woo! I want us to know that you can be a veteran as it relates to coming to church. You've been coming to church for as long as you can remember. And you could have perfect attendance at church and still be lost. And I won't go a little farther. You can be a preacher. Woo! Preaching the words of the Bible. And still be lost. So now let us not misuse Jesus. For God gave his life story to us because he is the model in which we are to follow. Hallelujah. And I'm so glad I bought my own Bible, read it on my own time and discovered that Jesus knows what it means to be like me. And however he got to God, That's all right now. I'm going to have to take that yes. same road. That's right. That's right. That's but thank right. God for directions. Yes, thank you. Are y'all ready to do this tonight? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Salvation is for now. 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 Yes, Lord. Thank you. Now. We got to be saved. Now. That's right. Yeah. yeah, salvation is not being saved to a place and from a place. That's right. That's right. Some folk want to be saved because they don't want to die and go to hell. No, brother, God saves you because he don't want you to live in hell. Woo! I come. That you might have life. Yes, Lord. And have life yes, Lord. more abundantly. That's what he said. That's what he and said. let me tell you something, church. Woo. God don't have to save you from the devil. Woo. I think this is my talking point. I think my I found God. my talking piece. God don't have to save you from no devil. He don't have to save you from no demons. He don't have to save you from no enemy. For most of us, if we would admit, God is having to save us from ourselves. That's right. Woo, woo. That's it. From ourselves. From ourselves. Are y'all listening? Yes, sir. Well, somebody just holler, I need to be saved from myself. 
Nobody is doing to me what I've been doing to to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My way has been hard because I've made hard way decisions. Are y'all listening? Yes, sir. So let's do some Easter work. You know, Obama, because every time Easter come around, and we got to say this as much as possible to remind people that Jesus didn't just come to die for your sins. And if he did die for your sins, you need to know what that means. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We don't dispute that. If Jesus did die for your sins, then you need to know what that means. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Mama, a lot of people think they are saved Mm -hmm. because they Mm -hmm. profess Jesus. Are y'all listening tonight? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Thank I mean, and we didn't do this to ourselves, Mama. Oh, no, 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 no. When I was growing up, they used to have the preacher doing revival. They would have somebody to search the house. That's right. Search the house. That's right. That's right. Search the house. Mama, we, we, don't, we don't have them kind of revivals no more. When I was growing up, there was no such thing, Daniel, as a revival if the preacher didn't search the house. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, and Miss Sandra, she's kind of looking at me like, what, it, what is search the house? I know, Miss Sandra gave me that look like, huh? Search the house. Search the house? is the time that the preacher was given to see who was saved and unsaved. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on, and mama, then they'd give you the ABCs of salvation. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Acknowledge him and Believe in him. <laughs> Com- confess him with your mouth. And believe in your heart and you shall be saved. So a lot of people think they are saved because they went through the so-called ABCs of salvation. Look at your neighbor say it's going to take more than that. Some people think they'll say, well, I I confess hope in Christ. Well, let me help you out, because if you're using the Bible to prove that, the Bible also says, if you just believing in him, you ain't doing nothing special. All right. All right, all right. Because in the book of James, it says, even the demons believe. Y'all ain't talking to me, man. Are y'all going to help me out there? So if you just believing in Jesus, you ain't doing nothing special. The devil believe in it. So you believing in Jesus don't save you. You believing in Jesus don't make you better. You being like him. Brings about change. Yeah, read it at your leisure. James said, man, demons believe. 
Not only do they believe, my boy, I hope the preacher is listening to me tonight. He says, not only do demons believe, he said, but they tremble. You know what that means? That means they respect what they believe in. So now I, I must move past believing yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. to doing the work. That's it, that's it, that's it. Wonderful. Yes, Lord. To have faith in Jesus means to do the work of Jesus. Because faith without works. So salvation is for now. It was never designed to benefit you later. That's right. It's now. Let me prove that. Last week I showed you in Exodus where when God saved the children of Israel from Egypt, he was not saving them from Egypt to take them to heaven. He was saving them from Egypt to take them to a land called Canaan. It was flowing with milk and honey. They had houses they didn't have to build. They had vineyards that they didn't have to plant. Canaan was not in the sky. It was on the earth. And that God was telling Israel, I don't want you to have better when you die and go to heaven. I want you to have better now. I just wish somebody would scream now. And I told you last week, somehow in church, we didn't took the land to the sky. So now whenever you hear Christians talking about Canaan, they're not talking about a land. They're talking about a place up yonder. Yes, yes, yes. I'm on my way to Canaan land. And mama, most of us that talk about going to a place called Canaan, they, we got to admit that you, you really don't believe that. Because when the doctor give you a diagnosis that'll take you to Canaan, so-called Canaan land, you asking everybody to pray for you. And seem like if there were streets of gold and walls of jasper and gates of pearls, seem like you'd be happy when the doctor tell you you ain't got that long. Well, somebody just put it in the thread and just help me preach this. Come on, put it in the thread. I don't think we really believe that. I don't think you believe it. I don't think you believe it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. When you at the point of death, you get on the church roll. That's right. You, you, get, you get on the church prayer list. That's right. Pray for so-and-so. Pray for so-and-so. Pray for so-and-so. If that was really a land you was waiting on, why you need people to pray for you? Or are you praying because somewhere deep in your soul you know? That if you're going to experience God's goodness, it's probably going to have to be in the land of the living. Are y'all listening tonight? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Salvation is for now. For now. I showed you the children of Israel. 
God wasn't trying to take them to heaven. He was trying to take them to a land so they could practice his way and worship him. Not only practice his way and worship him, God wanted to take them to Canaan so they could be an example to the rest of the people in the world. He told Abraham, I'm going to make you a blessing. He says, and all people will be blessed after they come to know you. Are y'all ready for this? Let's get Luke 19 tonight. Come on, hurry up. Boy, this time then got away from us. Jesus Christ. Boy, 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 boy. Yes, Lord. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Luke 19. My God. Y'all got it? Luke 19, I want to prove to you that salvation is for now. And I want to get to a couple of more scriptures, so let's hurry up and do this. Uh, Luke chapter 19, verse 1, it reads on this wise. And Jesus entered and pass through, somebody say, Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus. Are y'all listening? Now, let me, can I tell you who Zacchaeus was? Let me tell you who Zacchaeus was, Daniel. Zacchaeus was a Jew. So since he was a Jew, he was a part of the family of Abraham. If, Daniel, he is a part of the family of Abraham, that means he's, the, he's a part of the family of Jesus. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? So I don't want you to think that Zacchaeus is some sinner who knows nothing about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and their God. Zacchaeus knows Jehovah. Matter of fact, Zacchaeus goes to church every Saturday. All right. Every Saturday. He knows what time the temple service starts. That's right. That's right. But he came up in a text because he went to church, but church wasn't in him. He knew God, yes, Lord. That's all right. but God didn't know him. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, y'all listening. Yes, y'all see who Zach is tonight? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Zacchaeus goes to church, but later on in the text, yes, he goes to church. But later on in the text, we're going to discover that he's a crook. You you think, you wouldn't think you find a crook in church. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, sir. Think you find a crook. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Taking advantage of the poor. In church. In 
church. Taking advantage of the hurting. Yes, yes. Yes, Lord. In church. In church. My Lord. Oh, yes. Misusing the powerless. Yes. Okay. So I gotta go. I see. I gotta go. You don't wanna know who Zacchaeus is. I know you don't want to know who Zacchaeus is because the more I talk about him, he reminds us of ourselves. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Zacchaeus, which was the chief among. The tax collectors. So that means Zacchaeus was over the money. Right, 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 right. Right, right. That's right. Yes. Certain time of the year you had to report to Zacchaeus. That's right. He was the chief. Yes, yes. Woo! That's right. That's what he said. My God. Yeah. Yeah. He was the chief. Yeah. My Lord. Of the ancient IRS. He go to church though. He know God. He knows the scripture. He knows Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And notice what that last line said, uh, Daniel. He was rich. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Mama didn't got fooled. Yes, Lord. He was rich. Do y'all see that in y'all Bible? Yes, sir. But the text is going to tell us, Daniel, that he was rich uh -huh. and rotten. Woo! Rich and he was rotten. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Verse number three says, and he sought to see Jesus. Who he was. Yes. Mm. You see, Zacchaeus has been doing uh -huh. slick stuff for Ooh. a long time. Slick, slick, slick. Mama Howard, he's been doing slick stuff slick. all the time. That's why the Bible said, and he was rich. Ooh. But notice, Jesus says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. That's what he said. That's what he said. Boy, I wish I had some help. Woo, you got some help. Jesus says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. Because in Jesus' day, the poor was catching hell. In Jesus' day, it was the poor that was making the rich wit rich. But when Jesus came, he says, I've been anointed to preach good news to the poor. So now since Jesus is preaching good news to the poor, the poor eyes is coming open. The poor has an advocate that's speaking on their behalf. 
Now here comes Zacchaeus uh -huh. wanting to see Jesus who he was. My God. My God. So he just didn't climb in a tree to see Jesus. He climbed in a tree to see who Jesus Whoa. was. Whoa. And I'm sure he had never heard nobody like this. I'm sure Zacchaeus been to church, but he ain't never seen a man like this. So he climbed in a tree to see who Jesus was. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him for he was to press that way. Watch this. Zach didn't know Jesus, but Jesus knew him. Why did Jesus know Zach? Well, Jesus is the problem solver. Woo! And if you're going to solve the problem, you need to know the problem. Woo, woo, woo! That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Jesus was familiar with the problem, and he knew people like Zacchaeus was the problem. reason why the poor can't get ahead is because of people like Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up uh -huh. and saw him and said unto him, Ooh, Zacchaeus, yes, hurry up yes, and come down. And come down. For I'm, I'm pressing this way. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. You didn't know it, but I'm coming this way because today I said I'm coming to your house. Woo! I'm coming to your house. Are y'all listening to me? Wait a minute. Don't you miss this? If Jesus is the problem solver, he must be familiar with the problem. Ooh, my God. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now, the indictment is, mama, Zacchaeus is doing this to his own people. No, y'all ain't listening to me. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Zacchaeus was not taking money from the rich. Taking it from the poor. It was his people that was poor. Yes, Lord. So he was in a political position to do better for his people. But he took advantage of their situation. Whoa. You know you lost when you take advantage of your own people. Whoa. God raised you up and give you a seat in the big house. And the only somebody you can pray on is the people that, that's in need of your help. I said I was going to do some more, but I'm going to stop right here. I see y'all can't take it. I see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know you lost Daniel when you don't know who to help. That's right. That's right. If you've been down just like these people, when God raised you up and put you in a position to help, then that's what you ought to be found doing.
Are you all listening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all all right out there? Yes, sir. Jesus says that. Hair up. That's what, that's what it means to make haste. Yes. He says, hurry up and come down here. And I know you see me coming this way. I'm coming this way because I'm coming to your house. Man, I wish y'all would see this tonight. Look at the next verse and say, it says, and he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was gone to be guests with the man that was considered to be a sinner. Are y'all listening? Now the reason why the crowd is calling Zacchaeus a sinner because they know he's a crook. See, the people that he's been robbing and misusing, they know who he is. And when Jesus said, I'm coming to your house, they thought Jesus didn't know who he was. Said, Jesus, we know you as a holy man. How can you go to a man like this? Verse number eight, y'all read it. It says, and Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, look, Lord. Notice, when he met Jesus, Jesus must have had amazing power. Jesus must have been convincing. Jesus must have been persuasive because the first thing that Zach said was, Lord, listen, you ain't got to tell me what I've been doing. Let me tell you what I've been doing. So we know you're really ready to repent when don't nobody have to call you out. Jesus never had to tell Zacchaeus what he was doing. Zacchaeus opened his mouth and told Jesus what he was doing. He says, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. Zach, why are you giving half of your goods to the poor? It is because Zach know he got all them goods on the back of the poor. He says, I got rich because of what I have done to them. Half of my goods, yes, Lord. Yes. I'm going to give it to the poor. Yes. And notice what he says in the next phrase, mama. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusations, yes. he says, I'm going to pay it back with interest. Man, y'all leave me alone. Man, I thought y'all was going to help me preach this tonight. I'm 
He says, I'm going to give it back fourfold. I'm going to give it back with interest. So, Zacchaeus go to church, but he needs to be saved. Are you listening? And Jesus said unto him, Y'all see it? Tell me what you see. Jesus says, This day is salvation come to this house. Are y'all listening? So Jesus says crooks may still be around, but after today, there won't be no more crooks in this house. Why won't there be any crooks in Zacchaeus' house? He says because today salvation has come to this house. How do you know salvation has come? Salvation has come because Zacchaeus has a repenting heart. And now he's ready to do the work to repay and repair the damage to his community that he did. some preachers somewhere in the world that should be like Zacchaeus because our people are suffering because we have been taken advantage of their Then Jesus says in verse 9 in the latter part, he says, for as much as he also is a son of Abraham. So he's been a part of us ever since he had the job. But Jesus says, for this reason I've come. He says, I have come to seek and to save those that are lost. I'm through. You, what you tell that story for Pastor Tim, I wanted to tell this story and I wanted to tell it from the New Testament because you know Christians, we're known as New Testament believers. That's right, that's right. So I wanted to even show you in the New Testament that salvation is for now. For now, for now. It was never designed to benefit later and when true salvation comes that means God saves you from yourself he keeps you from destroying yourself that's right and others. That's right. That's right. That's right. He keeps you from creating mayhem for yourself yeah. and others. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. That's right. Y'all gonna feel the thread up so somebody can see what I'm saying tonight. Salvation is for now. now. And 
mama, last but not least, salvation is not about how much of Jesus you have. That's right. That's right. Salvation is about how much of you Jesus has. Because we can claim to have a lot of Jesus. But Jesus don't have a lot of us. We shout in church. Help the church because we got a lot of Jesus. But we live like the devil because God don't have much of us. That's right. Don't have much of us. I know I'm preaching. You just you just won't take the brakes off me tonight. God, Daniel, don't take more of you. No, you don't. No, you don't. You have to give him. More of you. That's right. That's right. That's no, come on, somebody put it in the three. It God don't take more of you. That's right. That's right. Rather, yes, Lord. you have to give him. Yes, Lord. God don't take your body. You got to present Ooh. your body. Come on, clap your hands if you like. Mama, how you feeling tonight? I'm feeling good. I was thinking how you was reading about your feelings. And I thought about the scriptures of Mr. Wells Brown. Mm. He was a great poet. John 4. Yes. And he said they were separated because she said, we don't have no business. With y'all. Now, how in the world you got salvation and you don't have no dealing with your brother and sister? <laughs> Come on, mama. Talk about it. There's something wrong with you. Yes. Come on now. And she was sitting there for the wrong thing. She needed to be saved. We worship at the well. So she went to church too. And she's supposed to have Jesus. She's supposed to have God. That's right. She was looking, she was looking for a man. Uh oh, mama. She was looking for a man. Uh oh, I guess we're going to let her talk tonight, man. <laughs> so, a lot of people go to church. They don't go to church for Jesus. What they looking for, mama? They looking for a boyfriend. Lord, how much? Darlene, come and sit down. Don't be walking. <laughs> <laughs> wrong time to walk. They come for. <laughs> they come for the wrong thing. But you ought to come for praising God. Yes, yes. And when I was reading that today, I said, now, how in the devil you coming to church talking about we don't have no dealing with you all? Yes. The Samaritans and the Jews, Jews didn't have no dealing. they were blood, yeah. but they were feuding That's right. over who was true, true worshipers. Worship. Well, now, what a minute, true worship. One worship in the temple one and one worship at the well. But all of them was the children of Abraham. And so this compared this message wow. with Abraham. That's good, Ma. So I would tell the people, don't go to church and fix up all pretty to meet a man. Mm -hmm. But they did meet, the woman at the well did meet a man. She met the best thing that had ever happened. Huh? 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 <laughs> Huh? He told her the truth. Jake, they wasn't telling him the truth. 
He told me all about myself. myself. Look, don't, won't Jesus do it? I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. I seen on the TV where the lady came into the church and said, she broke up the church. She said, she was a single woman. And the preacher was a preacher. She said, the preacher, I got a baby in my stomach. And he tore up the church. He said, the preacher, this is the preacher, baby. Daniel, come get her. <laughs> ah. Do you know? Do yeah. you know? There's a lot of mess going on in the church. Lord have mercy. And you know why, Mama? Because, you know, in church, you know, we make people to think that God gives us a word yes. for everybody else. My God, but it's for ourselves. But when the woman at the well uh -huh. became a witness, yes. she told those <laughs> who she witnessed to. Yes. You, you made me pick it up. She told them, she says, come see a man. He didn't give me a word for you. He told me all about myself. Yes. She said, come see a man. He told me about me. And we need to talk about ourselves. And I thank God that you're always talking about ourselves. Come on, Ma. Come on. We need to get ourselves right. Come on. Let me tell you one thing. When God told her the truth, she was able to save a city. <laughs> we scared to tell people the truth. Yes. Say they won't come to church. That's good, Mama. You're going to make me preach that. I'm going I'm to summarize I'm gonna that. that I'm going to leave that alone. No, you can keep on talking about it. No, I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> They think I'll be in bed. I said, no, I want to be alone. Mm -hmm. But when you can go and save a city, yes. Because he told us, say, where is your husband? She said, I have no. She told the truth, though. Mm -hmm. She said, yes. Mm -hmm. You had five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the one you got. A lot of people got other folks hugged. Listen to me online. Hallelujah. I think they listening. And they breaking up home. Hallelujah. And said they know God. I'm done with this. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless that woman was you. saved because she let Jesus yes, satisfy yes, the thirst yes, Lord, that she had. of her soul. That's right. That's right. And a sip of living water will change your life forever. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus tonight. Okay. How y'all feeling tonight? I feel good. I feel good. Do anybody have any do anybody have any questions tonight before we go? Everybody clear? Everybody good? Mama, thank you so much. Yes, You've been wonderful. Yes. Uh, Saibo, thank you so much for coming to be with us tonight. Yes, I Lord. pray that you got something out of this. Yes, Lord. I pray that tonight yes. you do some soul searching yes, Lord. to do see that. if you are really That's saved. right. That's right. Sit, sit down and say to yourself. Hallelujah. My brother was intending to go home. He said, whoo. It's raining so bad out there. <laughs> he said, and I'm finna get my coat. <laughs> and he said, I'm finna go home. I said, boy, serving God 
Go through the rain, get through the snow. Hallelujah. He said, I'm going to church tonight. Man, uncle's here tonight. Y'all give my uncle James some love tonight. I'm going tonight. And uh, listen, next Monday, Sunday is Easter. I'll make sure y'all get the church, 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 get in the Lord's house. Enjoy yourself. Pray for the preacher. Pray for those who are going to be, uh, who, who's going to be blessing us this week to come. Next week, I'll be in the same place, same time, same space. I look forward to seeing you next week. Now we've come as they say at the programs, now we've come to a spot here that all of us can play. Let us prepare ourselves for the ministry of giving. If you have been blessed tonight, some of you haven't been to church in a long time, and you have what I call the God money, the, the money that is set aside to advance the kingdom of God, Tonight, I want you to pick up your phone, pick up a pen, envelop it, be a blessing tonight. All of you that is in the room tonight, if you have been blessed tonight, if you believe in advancing the work of God, if you deem it to be necessary, pray that God lays it on your heart to be a blessing. God loves a cheerful giver. So if you give cheerfully, you are in order with God. Those of us that are giving tonight, I want you to stand all over this place. And all of you who are in cyber tonight, if you're giving, I want you to put it in the thread. I want to see you. I want to see you. Make sure you put it in the thread. I'm sharing tonight, Pastor. I'm sharing. I'm sharing. I've been blessed tonight, and I'm sharing. I'm giving tonight. I see something that's going to make me better, and I'm sharing tonight. If that's you, I want you to put it in the thread tonight. I'm, I'm sharing. I'm sharing, I'm sharing, I'm sharing, I'm sharing. Uh, Trey, if you don't mind, can you give them ways to give? These people need to know how they can be a blessing to SAG. It is our intent to save a generation from ignorance. Save them from their self. I pray that you can see tonight. Thank you, Miss Vicki. Thank you so much for your gift tonight. Thank you for your gift tonight. I see you. I see you. I see you, Miss Woodbury. I see you. I see you. I see you, Miss Jordan. I see you. I see you, James Hill. I see you, Carney Denton. I see you. If you're sharing tonight, I want you to put it in the thread. I'm sharing tonight. I think I heard something that's going to make me better. I think I see something. Thank you, Miss Barbara. Thank you so much. I need y'all to get in. I need y'all to get in on this tonight and, and be a blessing. I've even come to be a blessing, Mama. Tonight I came to pay my dues tonight. Miss Brown, I see you. Miss Baldwin, I see you. Thank you so much. And I want all of you to know uh, I want you to make sure that we're giving to the right platforms um, because people are always trying to be me when it, when it comes down to giving. And since I'm on my live, I need y'all to remind everybody, I do not have a new page and I do not have a chat room. If you're chatting with somebody that has my name on their pe page, I want you to know you're not chatting with me. You're chatting with the devil because he is a liar. Woo! Hallelujah. So now I see you, Miss Washington. I see you, Miss Malone. I see you. Where my brother's at? Are my brother's going to share tonight? Where my brother's at tonight? Where my brother's at tonight? I need y'all to be a blessing. I need y'all to be a blessing. 
I need y'all to be a blessing. Some of you don't even go to church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of y'all don't even go to church. You ought to be a blessing tonight. Hallelujah. You ought to be a blessing tonight. Miss Fletcher, I see you sharing tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Some of y'all go to church, but you leave like you came. You ought to be a blessing tonight. Miss Jumper, I see you. I see you. Mr. Jumper, I see you. I see you. I see you. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Be a blessing tonight. Mama, will you say a prayer for all of those who are giving tonight? Most great and most blessed God, we thank you at this time. Thank you for the service. Thank you for the our pastor being back with us on Monday night. Bless all those that came out. And God, I ask you to bless those that don't have it and those that do have it. Do it now, Lord. And I know, yeah, you said, the more you give, the more you will bless us. Hallelujah. I know that to be true. Hallelujah. Bless the sick all over the land. Touch now. Bless the guiding family, bless the the King family who laid their son on yesterday, day on yesterday. But God, I want to thank you right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the service that we had tonight. Let somebody catch on to your word. Hallelujah. And be real, God. Because he's letting you know you can come to church and still don't have to. Hallelujah. But I ask you to fill our heart with your with your power, with your understanding. Hallelujah. And let us be the one that you're calling for. Hallelujah. Stir up the people. I don't know what it's going to take. Hallelujah. But I'm putting them in your hand, God. Thank you, Lord. Because you're the one to direct them to the right place. Hallelujah. And I thank you at this hour. Thank everyone that came. Thank, thank all our members, oh God. Hallelujah. Give them strength, God. Do it even now. Don't let us come let's to come out here and then help. Forget all any good word. Hallelujah. But let us put it in our heart Hallelujah. that one day we will be able to see one another in joy. Hallelujah. Let all of us say amen. Amen. God bless you. Stand to your feet. We're getting ready to go home. We're getting ready to go home. Stand to your feet. God bless you. God bless you. We're going, I pray to see you next week. Same time, same station, same place. Pray for me as I pray for you. Peace and blessings to all of you who are coming on after the broadcast. Thank you so much. We pray that you find something here that will cause you to do better, think better no better hallelujah we're going make sure you like make sure you share and make sure you share and make sure you like god bless you until next time we're going god bless you and thank you all for your gifts tonight everybody hold to his hand god bless y'all thank you god's unchanging hand Everybody home.